was a record crowd for our students. Over 2,200 students got a chance to see a, a really fine arena with some great fans and see us play a good ball game. And I can't tell you, it was a dream three and a half years ago. I was just hoping. Um, and so I really am, am thrilled for them. You know, it was, just, it was just like a team effort. We had our hands in there, got a bunch of steals, disrupted their rhythm, and thankfully, thankfully that disrupted the rhythm on their shots because clearly that's not, a, that's not a characteristic of that team, three for 25. We knew CSU was going to come in as a really physical team, so we like emphasized that in practice, just getting rebounds, just focus on the glass because if they got a lot of offensive rebounds, it could be a comp completely different game. As far as the game, I thought in the truest form of the essence of teamwork, this was a team victory. Yes, we were fortunate they missed some threes. Maybe we had a little bit to do with it, but this is a great three-point shooting team. But they didn't get many off in the first eight seconds. And I thought our interior defense was tremendous when they were hollering, drive it, drive it, drive it. I thought our guys stayed on the floor. They made a few, but I thought they stayed on the floor. They had to take tough twos. I thought we were focused throughout. I mean, um, like we had talked earlier this week, we won that game in Fort Collins in the second half really without, without me. I was not engaged. So to get a whole team effort like this and, the, and play the second half like we did and even the first half keeping them to 13 points. Um, I mean, that's, that's one Coach Shiat is uh, where he, that's going to be on our bulletin board for picture, picture performance. There's a couple guys that didn't have really good offensive games. I got to tell you, those two or three guys had terrific defensive games. So to me, it was a team win, uh, uh, teamwork, um, I told them the last thing I told them was, uh, fellas, you enjoy it, but uh, the bad news for all of us is it's back to work tomorrow. We have to have a mental edge for the Air Force Academy. I'm not surprised that they beat New Mexico tonight, but I didn't know it at the time. And you know what? They will have a good mental edge tomorrow. Um, there, it was going both ways. I mean, uh, there were a few times uh, Avila and Daniels were down there pushing with me and back on the other end. The refs let it go when I was pushing with them. So it was, uh, it was definitely very physical, but very, very fair. Well, first of all, we feel bad for Al Herndon. You know, we lost a, a, a really good freshman uh, who was really playing high-level minutes for us. Now you have two other freshmen jump in there early in the game. And by the way, compliments to Scott Duncan and, and Matt Wise because they were the scouts for, for CSU both games. And they did a terrific job of getting 10 guys some minutes in the first half, which was our goal that you don't always reach. Uh, it felt great. I mean, coach is always talking about be ready. My teammates are always saying be ready. Um, the shots were there finally. Uh, and they finally were starting to go down, too. <laughs> we played a lot of games so far. So I mean, I'm no, no longer a fresh freshman, you know? So um, I guess just I was ready, you know, long week of practice. He was awesome. Um, I mean, coming off the bench, playing 16 minutes after there were a few games of not seeing any and being able to produce like that, it was it was awesome for us to watch. Um, I know there were a few times, um, there were a few more times I saw him spot up, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. He decided not to, and I'm, I bet Coach was glad. But that's just the kind of confidence we have in him. I mean, we see him do this every day in practice. He's, uh, he's a sniper. But Jeremy... Uh... You know, he's one of our better shooters, but how do you say that publicly the last few weeks? Because statistically, he hasn't made them in the games. So it was really good to see him get off the snide, knock in a couple. And as you said, even better that he handled it. Uh, the guys, especially our older guys, helped him along. And I thought he and Gorski really gave us some good minutes. I think that bodes well for this team to possibly get better as the year goes on. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. I mean, like, um, that's all we ever want. Like, that's our dream. We see a lot of teams on um, when we watch uh, college basketball on TV just have a crazy crowd. And tonight might have been one of the craziest student sectors I've ever seen. I was just so happy to be a part of the program and get to see that in my time here.